What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Litecoin at the request of SB Vol. SB Vol, this has been, it's been a few days, man. I'm sorry it took so long to get to this. Um, I actually tried to make a video on it two nights ago, and my internet was down, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, man, I thought it was a good video, actually, but prices have changed since then. So, instead of posting an old video where we were, uh, you know, lower in the 90s. Now we're at 105, or were we even? In, where were we? No, we were below the 90s. No, we we were in the 90s, maybe. I think we were. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, we're here now. We're gonna do a bit of a deep dive on Litecoin. So you guys sit back, relax, hit that like button for the Litecoin. I'm gonna pause the music. Let's get started. All right. So looking at LTC here. Looking at it. This is absolutely a breakout candle on the daily. Now, you do stand, anytime you break out, you do stand to have an immediate reversal, what is known as a fake out. And that could send you, that could plummet you to prices that are lower than your most recent low, um, probably. It's very rare that you have a fake out and you form positive structures. It's very rare. Because uh, this is your, like, like all you've got, you broke out, now you should go. Now the good times roll. And if they don't roll, it tends to mean this was a lie. And what happens when you lie? You die. I don't know. Uh, I just made that up. That's not a saying, but anyways, anyways, um, looking at this here on the most relative high, the cycle high that we had in May to the cycle low that we had in June of 2022, uh, we reacted with the 382, found support on the 236, ping ponged around this area. We broke out. We should have continued higher, but we had the fake out. We had the immediate rejection down, and that did. Look at what it did. It sent us down to lower lows, actually. Uh, found support, struggled to find support on the 236, but inevitably we did. We are breaking above the, the 382 now. Hold on, guys. I, I just wanted to. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, breaking above it now on the weekly. And looking at it on a weekly perspective, we rejected the overbought zone, came down, found support in the bullish area of control. We said, you know what? We're not rejecting this. We're going up. It all looks good. It all looks really, really good to me. Um, I like the weekly volume. I like the daily volume. Right now, the way this looks, in my opinion, guys, is that Litecoin wants to make a move up to about 170 to 200 dollars okay and probably not over there it'll probably be more like this before june potentially sometime in april but before june but within the next month or two some sometime with within that amount of time um it could even be within the next week or two who knows uh but you want to move up that's your next target area i doubt you stop at your 0.5 i doubt you do though you could you could because for one it is your 0.5 for two you did find resistance and support here. Resistance, resistance, support there. Kind of found support in this area. Found support right there. A little bit of resistance kind of in that area as well. You know, you could find resistance here. It's just, you'd just be getting your higher high right there. Like, I I would think you'd want to continue higher, but who knows? Um, looking good on your daily RSI as well, man. I love seeing it. Uh, there's, there's something else that I want to do. I'm, I might save that for the end, actually, but... Yeah, just looking at it for what it's worth, man. It looks like we're essentially holding this trend line. Moving up higher. Let's see. Let's get it maybe like that. Yeah, something like that. Holding that trend line for support. We're having that positive reaction now. Look at the volume. Volume doesn't lie, man. We haven't even technically broken out of this yet. I mean, I would I would say, as of right now, we are in the middle of a breakout. No, we're not above this high, but we are above these highs here. We're above the 382, right? I would say we're breaking out right now. Um, so just continue to do that. Don't fake out. Don't next week reject hard. Um, don't, you know, in the beginning of April, reject hard. You can pull back next week. You can have a red week. That's okay. Just don't, don't reject super hard. Don't have a week like this where you dropped, what was that, 16% or more. Um, I really like this structure right now, and I do think that Litecoin will see new all-time highs this cycle. I realize on Coinbase, and I've I've only used the Coinbase chart for most of the uh, most of my Litecoin analysis, but I do realize on Binance it's actually a different high price. I think it's also different on Kraken. Yeah, Coinbase is the only one that has them at at a uh, double top kind of look. But however you cut it, man, we're absolutely finding support in an area that makes sense to find support. Looking at the monthly RSI, it looks very bullish in my opinion as well right now. Um, I'm wondering, hold on. Got it back here. Nothing really to go off of, that's okay. 
I mean, yeah, technically we found support on this very first like high point from the first month of, of its inception, um, at least public inception. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Coinbase chart though, delete all these and maybe look at the daily. We already looked at the daily, maybe the four hour. I like the volume, I like the RSI, it all looks good. Just continue. It's okay that you're red right now. You could even go down, you're at 105.5 right now, you could go down to 103.5 but don't go lower than that. Or if you do go lower than that, just don't close the day below that. I'd like to see you close today above here. And I'd really, I would love to see you get a green day, but you don't need it. It's not essential, but that would be nice. Just continue upwards is really what I'm asking. Uh, the four hour, if you were to close right here, essentially, that sets you up for a very bullish scenario, actually. Yes, it's a bit of a bearish engulfing candle, but you would look like you could bounce off of your previous resistance point. You broke out, you're checking back, find support. Looking like, looking like you want to bounce off of the overbought zone as well and continue higher. This could be four minutes left. Probably probably by the end of this video, we'll, we'll have that close. Um, so unless you just drop ass right now in the next four minutes, 11 seconds, I, you're, you're in a setup right now where you could bounce. And bouncing could look like this. Next hour, you wick down, and then you come back up to close the hour, you know, or ne the, uh, the, the four hour. Um, it doesn't have to mean that just because you close here, it's off to the races. That's not how it has to look. It could. Just don't get discouraged if you know we move down to like $100, $102. That's, that's okay. Uh, you just don't want to close down there. You want to close above this line on the four hour. You want to close above that line, 103.82 on the daily. And really, I mean, truthfully, what you really, really want is to close above this day here. That would be uh, confirmation. Testing back this and then closing higher, that would be confirmation that this is indeed a breakout. And you guys, what that would mean, again, going back to what I was saying in the very, very, very beginning of this video, is that the next target is the 618. You've already found resistance at the 382 multiple times. You've, you're in the middle of a breakout now, so prove it to be true. And then what that would mean is you're going up here, likely. You could always, of course, find resistance at your 0.5. It's not a common thing to do, but it does happen. Uh, you could find resistance at that like 129, 130 area, but I think you're gonna go up to 170 to $200. That's that's my thoughts of this. You're at $105 now, so that's fairly decent gains. And I would assume that it happens before June. So before June, which would mean either sometime in May or sometime in April. And just because I say before June does not mean that it can't happen next week. It could happen next week. It could happen over the next three weeks. I, you know, nobody knows how it's going to happen, but I'm just, I'm saying probably within the next two months is when you're going to see this price uh, take place. That's just my genuine opinion. So I'm going to finish up the video now that we've kind of gone over the, uh, the more, I don't know, technical stuff. I wanted to say fundamental stuff, but it's all technical. Uh, I want to add one more thing before we do finish, which is the MA ribbon here. I talked about it actually last, like two days ago, uh, talking about how Litecoin, Mana, and what was the other one? Was it, I forget what it was. YFI all had this look on their uh, weekly ribbons where they look like they're crossing up. And with this week closing like this, you're having a cross up. So coinciding that idea with the breakout, with all these bullish things, this is fuel to the fire that this really could be the real deal. And absolutely, I feel confident calling this a breakout, even though we're below here. I've already gone over why I'm confident. This was a fake out kind of, it counts, but it, it doesn't count, right? This, this is your breakout zone and you're absolutely breaking out above it. You've got the ribbon flipping. The daily ribbon looks good. The four hour ribbon looks good. I mean, it, it all looks good. I wonder what the monthly looks like. Monthly <coughs> is postured to start uh, crossing up as well, but that would probably take several months as well. Um, I mean, who knows? It depends on how much we grow. But yeah, man, Litecoin's doing good. I'm very, very confident that this is the move up uh, with crosses. You often do check back to it, but look at that, man. You already, you already did check back, so I don't, I don't think you're going to move all the way back down there. That's, that's exactly what that was, and you're moving, you're moving up now. So I really got nothing else to say, man. Um, other than I guess where your next target would be, which again would probably be around, oh wait, that's not it. I mean, sure, 138 to 176 could be an area that you find resistance, um, but I'm specifically, actually, I'm looking at this 176 to 212 area, and that would be based off of this high to low here, which is like your 618, I guess, to, wait, no, is that right? Is that right? That's not right. Hold on. Oh, that's why, okay. 
There we go. 618, add about your 1618 golden ratio on top of the golden ratio. And then your 69 right around your two, uh, 1886. It just, it all makes sense. So 170, 200, 176, 212, somewhere in that area is where I think you're going. And I got nothing else to say, man. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to see more. I very much do think Litecoin has higher prices to go after that. You know, by the end of the cycle, you guys, I didn't actually even get into the, uh, the all time high parts. Man, I turned that music on way too soon. Um, but I do think that we're going to see at least $934. I, I personally do expect Litecoin will break a grand, $1,000, and could very well see prices all the way up at $2,600 or so. And absolutely, this price up here is achievable. It's a very high market cap, but a coin like Litecoin, I think, is uh, deserving of that kind of market cap. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yes, we could, by the end of the cycle, see a 5000 $5,600 Litecoin, who knows? But right now, the area that I'm looking for personally is this area, 2,500, this orange line, and at a minimum, about $1,000. So hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. I really do appreciate everybody for watching these videos. Thank you guys very much. Uh, for those of you who are looking to use the ribbon yourselves, if you don't have premium on TradingView, I'm pretty sure you can't use it, but you click this here, that's your templates. You have all these like automatic templates uh, built in. I just really use the ribbon. I've messed with all of them, man. They, they're fine. It takes it out of log when you do that, and it also takes your volume and it dims it for some reason. It just makes it very dim. So if you want to bring it back, you know, you can just, I don't know why I clicked out of it and now I'm clicking back, but <laughs> hold on. Uh, you know, you can make it a little bit more visible. Um, yeah. Anyways, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.